Today, we'll go over an Iranian movie from 2008 titled The Stoning of Suryam, based on a true story. Warning, viewer discretion is advised. Spoilers ahead. The movie begins in a small Iranian village where a Muslim woman, Zara, leaves her house early in the morning and walks to the river. When she arrives at the river, she chases a dog away and collects a bunch of broken bones. After washing the bones, she buries them with fragments of a green cloth, which has blood splatters on it. As Zara returns home, she witnesses a French man, named Freydown talking to the local mechanic, Hashem, about his broken car. Freydown is told by Hashem, that his car is overheated, and the radiator is damaged so it will take some time to repair. Zara watches them talking and notices the Frenchman has a tape recorder with him. She tells him that she has a story for him, about the village men, but the town Mola and Maya approach the Frenchman, and tell him that Zara is old and insane. They rudely ask her to leave and go home. The Mola invites Freydown for tea or a meal, but Freydown refuses to join them and says he has things to write. He reveals that he is a journalist. As Freydown sits in a local restaurant to get some rest, Zara sneaks to the back of the restaurant and throws a paper at him, with a map to her house. Curious, Freydown goes to Zara's house, where she lives with her niece's daughters. He asks her about her invitation. She tells him something bad happened in the town, and she wants the world to know about it. She asks Freydown to take her voice with him, because her voice doesn't matter in the village. Zara begins to tell him how the village men, started a plot to get rid of her niece, Soraya. The movie then switches to when Ali, Soraya's husband, requests Mullah Hassan to help him divorce her. When the Mullah refuses to assist him, Ali threatens to reveal to the village that the Mullah was once in jail. Unwillingly, the Mullah heads to Soraya's place, where he advises her to divorce Ali. He accuses Soraya of neglecting Ali. She responds that Ali has turned her sons against her, and doesn't provide for the family. Mullah Hassan informs Soraya that Ali has met another girl he wants to marry, but he can't support two wives, which is the reason he wants a divorce. But she still refuses the divorce, claiming that they will starve without Ali. Mullah Hassan then offers to help Soraya financially, as long as she has intimate relations with him. Zara is standing outside, listening to the conversation. She enters the room and scolds the Mullah for having an unethical conversation with her niece. The Mullah leaves the house angrily and tells them that they will regret not accepting his offer. While talking to Zara, Soraya reveals that her husband wants a divorce, so that he can marry a 14-year-old girl, whose father is in jail and is to be hanged. In return for the girl's hand in marriage, Ali has promised to help the girl's father escape hanging. Later, as Soraya is having dinner with her kids, Ali arrives home and begins to scold Soraya for rejecting the Mullah's offer. Soraya responds that, as her husband, Ali should protect her and provide food for the kids but instead, he is willing to abandon his family, just to marry a young girl. Her eldest son also yells at her. Seeing her husband and sons against her, Soraya leaves the house with her daughters. As she is leaving, Ali hits her. She ends up going to her aunt Zara's house. Zara tries to convince Soraya to divorce Ali, but she replies that she and her daughters will starve. As Soraya tells Zara about how Ali hit her, Hashem, the town mechanic, enters the house and requests Zara to help his dying wife. On the way to Hashem's house, they see Ali driving around, with a prostitute. When Zara and Hashem arrive at his house, she goes to examine his wife's body, but it is too late. Zara pronounces Hashem's wife dead and prepares her body for burial. The following day, at the funeral, the village women begin to loot the things in Hashem's house that belonged to his dead wife. Seeing this, Soraya scolds the women and tells them to return the things. As one of the women is about to leave with a sewing machine that Hashem gifted his wife, Soraya stops her and returns it to Hashem. Ali creepily watches their interaction. Meanwhile the Mullah and Maya Ibrahim, request Zara to convince Soraya to help Hashem as a maid, and look after his son. Zara refuses to convince Soraya, unless they pay her. So they agree. As time passes, Soraya starts working for Hashem. She starts earning her own money and spends time with her daughters after work. She is happy and doing well. One day, 
Ali sees Soraya leaving Hashem's house and decides to start a rumor that she is cheating on him with Hashem so that he can get rid of her. While talking to Mullah Hassan, Ali accuses Soraya of cheating, but the Mullah denies the allegations, saying that Soraya isn't the type of woman to have an affair. Ali devises a plan to accuse Soraya of having an affair with Hashem, so that she gets stoned to death. This way, he can get rid of her. When Mullah Hassan refuses to help him with his plan, Ali threatens to expose his criminal past, saying that he will be stoned to death instead of Soraya. Hearing this, the Mullah advises Ali to search for a witness, so they can convince Mayor Ibrahim easily. When the Mullah and Ali tell Mayor Ibrahim to authorize a trial, he tells them that he needs trustworthy witnesses, not gossiping villagers. As the men are talking, Zara sees them. When Mayor Ibrahim leaves the house Zara tells him that she suspects Ali and Mullah Hassan are plotting something against Soraya. Infuriated by Zara, for always cursing the men, Mayor Ibrahim claims that Zara is covering up for Soraya. Zara heads to Soraya's place to advise her to stop working for Hashem, because the men suspect her. However, Soraya says that the men got her the job, and this is her last hope to earn something for her children, and be free of Ali. The following day, Mullah Hassan invites Hashem to his home. Ali is also there. They inquire about Soraya's relationship with him. Hashem denies the allegations, stating that Soraya sleeps at her own house daily. He gets uncomfortable about their suspicious questions and leaves the place. Later, Ali and Mullah Hassan arrive at Hashem's workshop. They threaten to make his son an orphan, unless Hashem agrees to testify against Soraya. Reluctantly, he agrees, so they may leave his son alone. After getting his witness, Ali throws Soraya out on the street and begins to beat her in front of everyone and yelling that she is having an affair. Hearing the screams, Zara approaches, where Ali is brutally beating Soraya. She pulls Soraya away, and calls Mayor Ibrahim to talk, at her place. At Zara's house, the mayor asks Soraya about the accusations against her, and she denies them. They call Hashem and ask him about the rumors. Terrified by what Ali and the Mullah will do to his son, Hashem lies, and confirms the allegations. After hearing Hashem, Soraya bursts into tears, and asks Hashem why he is doing this to her. The mayor asks Soraya to prove her innocence, but she tells him that they are the ones accusing her, so they should bring the proof. He reminds Soraya about the law of the village, which states that if a woman is accused by her husband for adultery, she must prove her innocence. Soraya cannot prove herself right, so the mayor arranges a private meeting with the village men, at his house, so that they can decide on a verdict. He sends some women over to Zara's place, to keep an eye on Soraya. After the meeting, Soraya's father gets out of the house, and addresses the villagers, saying that his daughter has been convicted, and she will be stoned to death. Mullah Hassan sends a child to Zara's home, with a letter saying that Soraya will be stoned in an hour. Desperately, Zara tries to flee with Soraya, but her house is surrounded by guards. The guards throw them back inside. Realizing that she cannot do anything, Soraya prepares for her stoning and says goodbye to her daughters. As the children are ordered to gather stones, the men dig a hole for Soraya. Mullah Hassan gets ready, while Mayor Ibrahim prays, and asks God to give him a sign if he is doing the wrong thing. Soraya makes Zara promise to look after her daughters and protect them. Soraya asks her to not let her children forget her, and to tell them the truth when they are older. Zara vows to tell them, and to tell the world of Soraya's story. Soraya is summoned, and she leaves the house with Zara. They are escorted to the village center. On the way Soraya sees Hashem looking guilty. He goes inside his house with his son, and closes the door. When they reach the town center, Mayor Ibrahim announces Soraya's verdict. Mullah Hassan takes over and spews out some nonsense and lies about honor as the crowd chants death. When they reach the area of stoning, Mayor Ibrahim permits Soraya to say her last words. She asks them how they could do this to her, while they know she would never do what they are accusing her of. However, the villagers still want to stone her. The mayor orders Soraya to be lowered into the hole and covered. He gives Soraya's father two stones, and orders him to throw them. 
Before he can throw it, Zara jumps in front of the crowd and pleads to them to let her take Soraya's place. But the guards drag her away and toss her aside. Her father throws a couple of stones but misses. One of the women pleads with the mayor to take it as a sign that Soraya is innocent and what they are doing is wrong. Seeing that the mayor is considering the woman's words, the Mola pulls him back. Ali takes a stone from Soraya's father and throws it hard, successfully striking Soraya on the head. Not being able to hold it in any longer, she starts crying. Zara cries and screams, calling the villagers murderers, but no one listens to her. Ali brings forth his sons and orders them to also throw stones. Soraya's younger son starts crying. He looks to his older brother, who nods at him, and they both throw stones at Soraya. One of the villagers brings Hashim out of his house. Ali and Mullah Hassan hand him stones. Hashim takes the stones, but cannot hold his tears. His hands shake and he drops the stones, walking away with his son. The villagers all pick up stones and start throwing them at Soraya all at once. Some of the women cannot bear to watch, so they leave. The villagers continue to stone Soraya, till evening. According to the rules, her body is not allowed to be buried. Instead, they left her body by the river, as the rest of the village celebrated that night. Finishing the story, Zara tells Freydown that those were the events of yesterday and that this morning, she buried what was left of Soraya's body, after the wild dogs had eaten her. Soon, Hashem knocks at the door and informs Freydown that his car is ready. He looks at the tape recorder suspiciously and then leaves. He returns to his shop where Mayor Ibrahim and Mullah Hassan are waiting. The Mullah claims that they cannot allow Freydown to leave, because he might tell people what they did to Soraya. Ali arrives in his car, and states that his wedding is called off, as the bride's father was executed. Meaning that his plan to get rid of Soraya, was for nothing. Hearing this Hashem cannot control himself anymore and angrily tells Mayor Ibrahim the truth about Mullah Hassan and Ali's plan. Mayor Ibrahim yells at the Mullah, but the Mullah says he was also part of the scheme. Just then, Freudown, who has heard everything, approaches them. Mullah Hassan tries to stop him from leaving. He makes the guard point a gun at Freydown. The Mullah empties Freydown's bag and destroys the tape. Saying that he will file the complaint to the nearest authority, Freydown drives away. As he reaches down the road, Zara emerges and hands him the tape. The Mullah notices and yells at the guards to stop Freydown. They are about to shoot at him but Zara bravely stands in front of them, enabling Freydown to get away. Zara yells that the world will know what they did. When Freydown published The Stoning of Soraya M, it became an international bestseller, focusing attention on the practice of stoning in Iran and the lack of women's rights there. This helped uncover the truth about the people there, who used untruthful teachings of Islam to carry out their atrocious cultural acts. Stoning is not mentioned in the Quran. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more engaging videos like this.